This video is brought to you by Wix.com. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a really, really professional looking portfolio on your own website. We're gonna use Wix for this video because they actually are a really, really nice provider when it comes to setting up your website and your portfolio. Because if you think about making websites, it's all about like this really, really complicated coding with HTML and PHP and all that. We're gonna skip that whole process we're gonna set up something really really nice and straightforward using the service so if you guys are excited for this video make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and I would say let's get started right after the intro Alright guys, so as you can see right now, right here we are on wix.com slash justalexhalford. The link is also in the description down below. So it says the leader in website creation and then it also says a blue start now button. So we're going to click on there and then it's going to bring us to our login page. So we're going to just sign in and if you don't have an account, you can just sign up real quick. It just takes a couple minutes. Okay, so right here we land on our dashboard where we can see an overview of all of our websites. So we're gonna cr start creating a new one, a portfolio for our video editing company, for example. So we're gonna go to sites on the top left corner and we're going to hit create new site. Okay, and then they ask you, what kind of website are you creating? So right here, I'm going to type in video editing. So we get the option video editor portfolio. We're gonna click on there and we're gonna hit next. So that brings us to the following page. Choose how you want to create your website. Let Wix ADI create a website for for you, answer a few simple questions and automatically get a website designed just for you in minutes or create your website with the editor, start with a template and make it your own. Easy drag and drop and thousands of designs features. So I'm going to use the editor for this video. So we're gonna click on edit a template. All right, so then we get to the page where we have a lot of choices when it comes to a website. It looks really nice. So of course, you gotta think a little bit logically what kind of website you're making and then which kind of theme would be actually fitting for this one. One of this one would actually suit very very nicely. You can also view them if you want to, or you can just edit them straight away. They have a lot of different pages. We have up to 48 pages of choices. So that's really, really nice. So let's go to the Henry Cooper template and let's go click on edit. Then we get to the page itself where we can edit everything. We can customize everything and just optimize it for our own company. So right here we have the page, which is the home that you can switch between pages. You have, of course, people, urban nature videos albums about me and a blog so let's go ahead and first edit existing pages before we're going to add in new ones so right here we have a button that says menu and pages so we're going to click on there and then we can see that we will are on the home page so then we can close this out and then we can start customizing if you hover over with your mouse right here you have all kinds of options to edit it so right here if you click on this huge banner it says manage slides change slide background slide one of three which is really cool that people can also see it in this way that it will actually slide from left to right so you can completely customize your website with let's say a photo of your equipment or maybe if, even a video if you want to so let's go and change this one up change slide background and then we have all kinds of really really cool stock photos or we can upload our own so that's what we're going to do so we're going to click on image and then it's going to bring us to the image uploader so right here it says upload media and make sure guys everything that you're uploading is completely made by yourself because you can of course you know not use somebody else's work so right here we're going to click on upload media I'm just uploading a photo of myself just so we get people get an idea like what kind of faces behind this website and this company so right now I'm going to click on change background and then of course it's going to swap it now I actually want to resize it just a little bit you can also change up the opacity if you want to have it a little bit of a lighter one you have a also a color behind an image if you want to if you make it a little less transparent you can give it like a certain color which looks really really nice I'm just going to keep it on 100 and then it says scale to fill but you can also just pick for example original size and then it's going to look like like this but of course you want to make sure everything fits so I would just go with the scale to fill or you can just even use a title but then it's going to repeat itself it wouldn't actually look very very professional in this way even if maybe if it's just a panorama picture where right, it's completely like like it's just one photo and not like repeated a couple times so I think the scale to fill will actually work the best then I'm going to click on the top one so it's, got, so, so it's going to look a little bit more like this but I think this one looks also very very nice then if you close that out 
you can go to this arrow to go to the second slide and then it works exactly the same change slide background upload another photo and then you can also have like different slides of yourself or you can also just even use in video right here we have the video button so right here we have the settings button that basically means that how long between slides you can just have let's say that you want to have three seconds between each slide before it automatically goes to the next one you can crank it up to five you can re even have it really slow if you want to crank it up all the way to let's say 20 seconds between each slide if it's not too distracting and not too fast you can also stop the autoplay on hover as well if people hover over your photo that will automatically stop sliding it's very very advanced you can go in really really big detail and then right here we have the layout itself we can show the navigation arrows so we can have the size if you bring that up as well you have the offset and the spacing all right guys so now that we have that part done let's pretend everything is finished we can scroll down and we can even edit this info at the bottom as well so this is where basically where people will be able to contact you so for the first paragraph so right here if you want to change up the text it's really simple you can just double click on here and then you can type in let's say your email address i'm going to type in contact at alexanderhelfer.com that's just a really really simple email address nothing too special nothing too complicated as well that you can list down there so people can actually write you if they want to get you know in touch with you about some inquiries and then we have the facebook twitter and instagram in order to make these clickable to your own pages you just want to click on there set social links and then right here we have of course the icons if you want to have a little bit more different you can upload colored ones it's really really cool and then you can just add in your link so let's go and click on here and let's just say facebook.com forward slash just Alex Alfred. That's my Facebook page. And then if people don't want to lose the page or the tab that they're in, you can even open it in a new window or they can just replace that same tab with the Facebook page. I'm going to also just click on open in a new window. It's a lot more easy so people can just navigate between tabs. I'm going to click on done. And then right here, it will now redirect us to our Facebook page. You can do the same for Twitter and Instagram. It's really nice. And then at the bottom, you can also choose your text right here. If you want to type in like, let's say the copyright icon, and then we can also change this up to 2021, of course. Proudly created by Wix.com. Of course, we have to give Wix the credit for creating this really, really amazing website for that simple. So then at the top, we also have the text option. If you click on there, you can just completely change that up as well. And then you can have your text underneath that. So I'm gonna just type in video editing port. Folio. So now that we have done that, it's really, really nice how we all customized every single of these assets on the main page. So let's preview it right here. As you can see at the top, we have our name, we have our custom photo, we have all social media links, we have our copyright notices. You can also just add in like a privacy agreement or all these terms. You can add in all of these pages as much as you like. So then let's move on to the next page. So right here, we also have the page manager. So let's click on there and let's go to, let's say that we're going to pick videos because of course this is a portfolio website. You want to to show off your best work. So right here we have Henry Cooper recent work. We can also change that up by clicking on settings and then we can just change that up with the video. So right here it says get started. So then it's gonna bring us to the uploader again. And then you want to just want to select your MP4 video or even a YouTube link that's also possible because right here we have the video library. But if you don't have the YouTube video or like a bit other video that you made for a company on your physical computer, you can just paste in the YouTube URL. It doesn't have to even be public if you make it unlisted. So nobody can see it then you can paste the link right here as well we have the upload videos you can upload it from your computer dropbox and google drive very straightforward and then you can just upload your portfolio that way and then you can of course click on the settings button and then you can customize it the channel or you want to have one video you also have the layout do you want to have it compact or in a strip way we have the player as well you can also click on show the title if you want to use that one or not and then right here when you have done everything like that and you upload all the photos and the pictures that you have made you can also watch it right here on the mobile version so you just have to make sure that your video plays well that it doesn't like you know look stretched or anything like that so this is what it will look like on the mobile phones it actually gets very very big that's a lot easier to read as well so this is what the page looks like of course we can't scroll down because we don't have added a lot but of course everything will be added the same way when it comes to your copyright notice at the bottom your social media links we also have the video player but right here it says videos we can just change that up we can center our text right here and then you can put 
put it on videos just to make sure that people will know like this is your work and then of course you can show off all the videos that you made whether it's on Vimeo or on YouTube just as examples you don't have to make them publicly to be able to share them right here and then you can also track on YouTube how many people have you know watched on that video views that are coming from this source will also be shown in your analytics it is very very nice so let's go to the next page then right here we can also have the about me page that basically comes down to that you can upload a personal photo just to have a little bit more of a personal page that people can read about you and then right here we can just change that photo up just as usual but let's go back to the desktop editor just for a second so then right here we can click on change image let's go ahead and use this photo that's very very nice then we can just type in our introduction let's say that we're going to type in alex is a professional video editor for about 10 years with a lot of experience building also a youtube audience and working with different brands and companies i'm just typing something in guys and then you can also have your contact form right here to type in your name your last name your email and your message and then you can just click on submit but you can even change up this text as well if we will get in touch with you soon like that and then we can click on the set time and then right here we have our custom message when people send their message when they reach out to you and then of course guys we have a lot more pages like you know albums and nature and urban of course urban doesn't really you know look, is that applicable to this video so nine out of ten i would actually remove that page but you guys know what i'm trying to say you can have your home page your portfolio your contact page your about me and everything like that and this is basically how to use the wix template editor to create your professional video editing portfolio using Wix. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. This is how to set up your portfolio on your website using Wix.com. The link is down in the description. Thank you so much, Wix, for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.